Huh. I what those two are talking about. Hey, it's our leader. What's up? You here to practice? Oh, uh, yeah. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Thank you. The ball is off to a smooth start. Oh, thank you, I guess? It seems this talented producer was correct about you all. Please excuse my audacity, but my heart is dancing as well. <laughs> I'm starting to get into the groove, too. We're totally gonna liven up this party. What promising words. Please enjoy the ball with your friends. But man, this place sure is strange. My body moves exactly how I imagine it to. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the nature of the Velvet Room. This place in particular. There is that. However, Club Velvet is merely the manifestation of the strength of your heart. Strength of our heart? You mean like our persona? Indeed. As you know, a persona is the strength of one's heart. Club Velvet is no different from your persona ability. The images you hold so dear in your heart manifest as movement. The strength of your heart equates to the strength of the passion you emit when dancing. I ask that you strive to make your mic drops reverberate and secure victory for me. Huh? Victory? Does that mean we're competing against someone? How carelessly thoughtless of me. It seems I've made a slip of the tongue. Hold on, we're against someone? Explain yourself, Elizabeth. In short, this is a big fight between me and my younger sister. Our pride is on the line. Ah, I think you mentioned something like that at the start. A brash older sister as well. A short while ago, her guest resolved a certain incident by dancing. Oh, hold on. I can believe that you would have other siblings and that they are their have their own guests. But dancing? Seriously? they use dance to appease a being that was kidnapping and enslaving people. Upon hearing that, my younger sister said, our guest could have resolved it faster. Uh-huh. Her words lit an infernal flame within me. What about my guest, I thought? Would he be defeated? No, he would never. Uh, so basically you stood up to your sister, huh? And dragged all of us in this little squabble of yours. <laughs> Man, you're totally into this guy. I gotta admit, though, he's no average Joe. However, my impertinent sister wouldn't back down, so I came up with a plan. My older sister's guest resolved a situation with dance. So I stole... <laughs> I mean... Borrowed that idea and organized a dance competition with their guest. And because you were inspired by your older sister in this, all of us got caught up in it as well. <laughs> Seems like it. Well, as long as it's fun. I suppose that's one positive way to look at it. So how do we figure out who the winner is? Whoever moves the crowd most is kind of vague. The cheers that echo across the stage are the voices that rise from the sea of souls. In other words, countless unseen spectators are waiting in anticipation to watch you dance. How frenzied the audience is will be apparent, so the winner should be obvious. <sighs> I'd like to say I get it but I don't. Yeah, I'm kind of lost myself. 
Well, is there some kind of reward for winning? <laughs> I'll try even harder if there is. Of course there is. A reward? For real? Yes. In the event that you emerge victorious, I will forever honor your names as the most remarkable guests for generations to come! Uh... Um... Wait, that's it? Above all, as your producer, your victory is also my victory. Thus, my impertinent younger sister will have been totally served, and I'd be ecstatic. Wow, I'm impressed with her honesty. And if we lose? Yeah, what would happen if we lose? We will all fall into an eternal hell of endless suffering and humiliation. Huh? Hell? How vicious is your younger sister? Hold on a sec. You never mentioned that part of the arrangement. There is no need to worry. There's a much need to worry. When you wake, those memories will have disappeared into oblivion and be forgotten. That's not the issue here, and that smile's freaking me out. I'm with Junpei on this one. Then again, this is a private affair among sisters. Please do not let it worry you. As your producer, all I ask is that you perform amazing dance routines. You can do it, my dear guests! If you can't do it, no one can! We got this, right? I mean, our team's got the amazing me and you. I'm gonna go tell everyone to give it their all. I'll be counting on you, too. Yes, same to you, Junpei. Hmm. Elizabeth? Hmm. Um... Elizabeth, you're freaking me out more than usual. What's up? Oh, it's nothing. Huh? Although I am not worthy, I, LP, will do my utmost to help you be victorious at this ball. Hmm. Huh. Feeling she's not telling us something. I think I can tell there's something more to it than just the ball. Is there something that you want to say to me, Elizabeth? As you know, this room exists between dream and reality, mind and matter, space. And even time escaped the chains that would normally bind them. However, this is still a transient, fleeting dream that only lasts one night. Please do not forget this, regardless of the fate that awaits you on the road ahead. Hold on, you're almost making this sound like a goodbye. What are you talking about? Pardon me. Please forget what I just said. Okay. In any case, please focus your efforts on livening up the ball. Now, as I am quite busy being your talented producer, I shall take my leave. Alright, I'll see you around then. might be wondering, like, well, wait, you played through Persona 3, you know exactly what Elizabeth is talking about. And you're right, me, as the player, do know. But it's important to know that the Elizabeth here is not the same Elizabeth throughout the course of Persona 3. Remember, this Elizabeth was able to see the events of Persona 4 dancing the Persona 4 dancing game, and is able to interact with Lavenza as well. 
Now, Lavenza may not necessarily be completely restricted to the events of Persona 5, but the fact that she is able to call upon the Phantom Thieves does also suggest that she can pull from that time period as well. So, while the protagonist and C's may not be aware of their final fate, Elizabeth is all too aware as to what happened. And even though she is, well, on a quest of her own, if you've ever played the Persona 4 fighting games, you'll know that she's trying to be able to do something to rectify the events of the end of Persona 3. And with Elizabeth here, well, it may not be exactly the goal that she's after, but she is still able to see the protagonist once again. Even if it's like she said, a dream that only lasts a single night. doing with Elizabeth oh hey are you here to practice too yeah um, what are you two doing here I just finished so I was chatting with LP looks like our dancing is a hit oh well, that's good the stage has been on fire thanks to your sharp moves perhaps that is where the phrase night fever opens all doors comes from 
See? I don't understand what she's saying, but that's gotta mean we're doing great, right? Don't worry, I've known her for about a year, and even after all that time, I still have no idea what she's talking about half the time. By the by, Yukari, how is your waiting room? Let me know if you need anything. Oh, that? I was so surprised. It's exactly like my real room. I thought that you'd be able to best relax in your own rooms. Has my careful preparation as a talented producer struck a chord with you? Actually, yeah, I'm very impressed at how well you're able to replicate everything. I'm delighted to hear that. Then it was worth going through all the trouble. Anyway, it's really impressive. Mine's nearly perfect, even though it's a dream. One might say that it's the result of my daily observations. Huh? I've watched you from morning till night and committed every detail to memory. What? Um... Okay, not gonna lie. That's really creepy. He has a point. That means you've been watching us this whole time, right? There's no need to worry. True to my duties, I won't speak a word of what I've learned. Such as the type of books Junpei collects, or the style of underwear Mitsuru prefers. Um... Or even what you recently purchased, Yukari. I believe it was diet... Whoa, stop right there! You're spilling all our secrets! Oh, pardon me! Gosh, so much for not speaking a word. How closely have you been watching us? My interest continues to be piqued with every action you all take in reality. Everything I laid my eyes upon unveiled a new surprise. It's all thanks to you that my eyes turn to the outside world. As a result, my view has expanded exponentially. I am grateful for that. Oh, so you were inspired by... when I took you out of the Velvet Room? Well... A bit of a surprise there, but... You're very welcome, Elizabeth. Hmm, seems like she really trusts you. That must be why you were summoned this time, too. Of course, that is thanks to his friends as well. I have seen that you are capable of manifesting greater powers because you support one another. Ah, <laughs> thanks. You're good at maneuvering us as well, LP. Maybe you really do have a gift for this. I am honored by the compliment. Please enjoy the ball to your heart's content. Well, I'm gonna rest in my room until my turn. Might as well make use of it. Well, in that case, I'll see you later, Yukari. Oh, before you go, there's something I forgot to tell you. Oh? The waiting rooms appear to be adjacent, but they are separate and completely soundproof. Be reassured that you can bang all you want in there, no problem. We'd never do that. I mean, what are you implying? Is there a problem with making as much noise as you need when practicing your dance moves? Oh, never mind. Being watched is a bigger problem anyway. I think Yukari's just upset of your... word choice. Please be at ease. My lips are sealed with regards to what I have learned via my duties. That doesn't put me at ease at all. Well, let's maybe leave before she tries to spill any more secrets. Also, you may have noticed that in some of the instances that we've seen before about how Elizabeth said that it's soundproof, it comes from this. So, yeah, it's kind of implied that you would get here before you really got to, like, the investigation of the rooms, since Elizabeth's unlocks for the social events, yes, you do have to unlock them, uh, is by getting more social events. So, 
you would learn that information prior, even if it didn't seem immediately apparent. I wonder what I guess wanted to talk to Elizabeth about. Oh, it's you. How are you? I was just about to ask LP some questions. Well, I'm doing fine, thanks, I guess. So what do you normally do? I, LP, or Elizabeth, am one who governs power. I obey my master, and it is my duty to support my guest on their journey. When you say guest, you mean him, correct? I did not know that you were aiding him. Then are you aiding him in the real world now, while helping us here in the dream? That is a rather difficult question. Within this room, between dream and reality, you and I may not share the same now. Same could be said for him and me, or for my sister, her guest, and you all. That is indeed difficult. I exist outside time and space, so... Yeah, a now for someone may not be a now for someone else. Our memories may disappear when we wake, but my experience here has been quite strange. Are you saying that you don't want to forget everything that happens here? No, since they are my memories with all of you, I do not wish to forget them. Your memories from this place will be stored deep within your unconsciousness when you wake. So they won't be completely forgotten then. I cannot say for certain, but those memories will likely never resurface during your life. However, it's possible that their imprint within you will affect you in some way. So even if we aren't conscious of them, those memories will live on? I comprehend. Then, that means there's the possibility we've already had such experiences in the past. Hmm, who's to say? It's also possible that a similar fate awaits in the future as well. Hmm. You know, I can't say for certain how, but I get the feeling that I guess is actually true. I get the feeling we've had other memories that we don't exactly recall, but we still have them. You are a mystery indeed, LP. You created something truly amazing out of thin air. And I believe that everyone is greatly enjoying it. Is that so? To me, you are all much more mysterious than I. We are? Well, of course. You truly are a treasure trove of endless possibilities. And that is the reason why I departed on a journey to fulfill my own wish. Your own journey, huh? That definitely doesn't quite sound like the same Elizabeth I know. But given what we just talked about... Good luck on your journey, Elizabeth. It seems my inner flames of passion have caused me to say too much. However, this will all be forgotten when you wake, so everything should be fine. Okay then, farewell! <sighs> she vanished. That was surprising. Anyway, according to LP, even if we are to forget, our experience here may help us one day. Now that we know that, we can't take this lightly. We must all do our very best. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll be counting on everyone then. Best of luck out there, I guess. That's a very odd conversation. Oh, hello. I was just 
asking LP about our situation. The ball has reached its peak. The excitement on stage is that of a raging storm. You are likely nearing victory. Would you agree? Well... I'm not so sure. I mean, we've been doing pretty well, but without any indication on the other team, it's hard to tell whether or not we're nearing victory or not. You think so? I feel like we're on the right track. I didn't say that, but... You're so modest. My unbiased opinion is that you're doing quite well. But you mustn't take your eyes off the prize. I sense a similar amount of excitement from the dance floor in my younger sister's domain. Really? I can't sense a thing. That's what I was concerned about in the first place. Oh, it's only because of my keen intuition as a talented producer that I can sense it. She's always been arrogant, but this is the first time she hasn't backed down. She must be quite confident in her guest's ability. I must gird my loins for the showdown. She doesn't respect me as her older sister, so I am resolved to teach her a lesson. Why don't you two get along? What is your younger sister like, LP? I'm curious about that myself. To put it bluntly, she's tiny and sassy and thinks she knows everything in the world. She's... tiny? Do you mean, like, height-wise, or are you referring to something else? Well, yes. She's literally small and impertinent. She's part of the know-it-all generation. Hmm. So there are others like you, LP? Allow me to take this opportunity to introduce the rest. My elder sister is my rival. She rambles on and on while maintaining a haughty attitude. My younger brother is a naive pup, worthy of teasing. His height is his most mature trait. Lastly, there's me and my impertinent younger sister. We all serve the same master. So all four of you serve Igor, then. Wow, that's a big family. It must be fun to have so many siblings. That sums up my siblings. But as I've mentioned, we all believe that our guest is most truly remarkable. Understand that this mini-sibling competition is because we take great pride in our duties. Sounds like you're all a rough bunch. Oh, that is also one way to put it. The way in which we compete against each other could be considered a means of bonding. We are awkward siblings who know no other way of doing so. Huh. Adults sure are complicated. I think the they wouldn't quite necessarily be considered adults, Ken. But even when I'm filled with love for them, there are moments when my blood boils. I might blast them with inferno flames, but that is the type of relationship we have. I, I see. That aside, tonight's ball is exquisite. I'm sure it'll be passed down for eons to come. There's no doubt that even my master will be pleased. Are you sure about that? This doesn't seem like something Igor would approve. Mm. Upon further thought, I cannot allow my master to find out about tonight's engagement. That's what I thought. If he learns that we used this room to settle our quarrel, we'll be in big trouble. That doesn't sound good. Oh, no, there's no need to worry. I must simply keep things quiet. Luckily, I have a very obedient younger brother. <laughs> I feel bad for him. It sounds like you're up to something. 
All I can say is, poor Theo. Time to get started. I'll always be with you. That's it. How's that? Whoa. That's the way. Yes. That's it. Great. Excellent movements. How's that? Ready to go anytime. We'll show you our moves. Whoa. Yes. Nice. We're doing okay. Good is the word. That's it. Dancing with you was awesome. That was fun. Let's do it again sometime. Don't hold anything back. Good one there. You blew me away. That's it. Great. That's it. Excellent movements. Huh. How's that? Great. That's the way. Yes. Now's my chance. Yes. Good is the word. Let's keep this pace up. You're doing well. Excellent movements. Good synchrony. Those are some sharp moves. Pay attention to the movements. You're so energetic that you're tireless, I guess. But I like that about you. Great. Yes. Brilliant! That wasn't bad, wouldn't you say? You have so much energy to spare. I look forward to your next performance. It's a new high score. I'm improving. You surpassed your previous best. Congratulations. All right, well, we're here on the dance floor. Hmm? Is that LP? Velvet, oh, velvet. My master has... Hmm. It is without a doubt a wonderful song. However, it may not be suitable to dance to. What are you doing, Elizabeth? I was so focused on my personal matters that I didn't notice you two. I have truly let my guard down. More importantly, how's the ball going? From all the cheers, it seems to be revved up. Yes, the ball has reached its peak. Forgive my forwardness, but I am ecstatic at how it has exceeded my expectations. Viva the ball! Bravo, everyone! Club Velvet forever! The point is, I'm enjoying this on a personal level beyond my duty as your producer. Still, I'm surprised at how good we all dance, even though we're amateurs. Thank you. As your talented producer, that was simple enough. 
or so I'd like to say. But the power of your imagination has played a big part in it. So you're saying that it's all due to our innate skills then? To be blunt, no matter how much power you borrow from me in this room, I presume that only you and your group can perform such wonderful dances. Your individual strengths are impressive, but the energy when you're together is undeniable. The source of this comes from mutually enhancing each other. Enhancing each other, huh? Good encounters give birth to power. I'm getting excited seeing that for myself. Please continue to use that power to further invigorate the ball. So, about the ball, how much longer do you think this will last? Hmm, that depends on when everyone is content and... Oh, what a surprise! I had forgotten that the goal of this ball was to repay my sister. I humbly request that you leave everything to me, LP. My intuition as your talented producer tells me your absolute crushing victory is nigh. Actually, it wouldn't be exaggerating to say that you've already won from the start. Well, there's no point in us worrying about our opponent. We'll just enjoy this. That is extremely not a problem at all. The more you all enjoy this, the more wonderful this ball will become. Ah, who will be dancing next? I cannot wait to see. I'm trembling just thinking about it. I must sing a song to express this emotion. Velvet, oh velvet, the party goes on and on and on. Our producer sure is unpredictable. You don't even know the half of it. Well, at least Elizabeth is having a good time. Even if she forgets that this is a competition. Alright, well, this doesn't seem like anyone's here. What a nice surprise to see you both together here. Looks like I spoke too soon. Thanks to you, the ball is a great success. In fact, it's already reached legendary status. So... Have we won yet? My, you're quite full of yourself. Please go forth and reach for greater heights. Well, everyone is greatly enjoying this. It's been a nice break from our tension. I must express my gratitude to you. Thank you for inviting us, LP. I humbly accept your thoughtfulness. However, the ball is far from over. There are no time limits. Please express your passionate soul to your heart's content. Yes, it's been long enough that I comprehend. But this is such a strange sensation. It feels as if we just arrived here a moment ago. Your ability to create such a place. To us, it seems like a godly power. Who are you all? a talented producer, but our original duty is that of a humble guide. All we can do is aid you on your journey. In actuality, our powers are not as unlimited as you may think. As proof, it isn't rare for situations to arise where even our existences are in danger. That's hard to believe. Are there really such powerful foes out there? say to you is this 
During those times, there have been and always will be those who rise in opposition. I believe you should do your best in the situation you find yourself in. So don't meddle and just do what we can. <laughs> That's trustworthy advice in a way. Very well. Our powers are limited anyway. We'll concentrate on what lies before us. Now that that has been concluded, let us continue on with the ball. As I just mentioned, your possibilities are limitless. How you were assembled here was fate as well. Please carve your own paths on the stage. Well, then I guess we'll just have to give it our all. <laughs> she completely swayed us. Or should I say produced us. I see what you did there. Now then, I should practice a bit. Would you care to join me? Of course. Also, you may have noticed that with Elizabeth, there aren't any sort of... of rooms that you have to go through. So, it's not like you would be able to go through, say, the original Velvet Room or the Protagonist's Room. Uh, there's just no need for the cards in Elizabeth's rank ups. So, just wanted to bring that up. I'm going all out. We've all gathered here. Let's do this. Come on, everybody! Get in here! Don't forget us! I'll give it a whirl. A group formation. Let's combine our strength. Oh, man! We look so cool! Let's do this. You and I. <laughs> We've been partners for a long time, Mitsuri. Hold my resolve. Senpai.
finally here. Now's my chance. Now for our leader to finish it off. I'll lay all the cards on the table. We can do it together. Yeah, do it, leader. I'll lend you all my fire. And I as well. And me. Go for it, leader. As long as you're with us, there ain't nothing to fear. Please accept my devotion. You're all so precious to me. King Crazy! Hey, chalk one up to those nerves of steel. Hey, if you hog all the glory, there won't be any left for me! It's a new high score. I'm improving. You surpassed your previous best. Congratulations! What Elizabeth wanted to talk to us all about. Yo, what's up? Everyone's here. Am I the last one? Huh, I wonder what the important announcement from our producer could be. Has the competition finally concluded? Perhaps the winner is going to be declared. Oh, I forgot about that. To be honest, I was completely focused on dancing. I feel like I've danced enough to last me a lifetime. It was a lot of fun, though. Regardless, there's no mistaking that the end of the ball has arrived. It's rather sad if that is the case. Guess this is superstar Junpei Yori's lamented and teary-eyed retirement interview, huh? No one would lament that. And you're not a superstar. You're just a guy who fishes for compliments. This again. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? I deeply apologize for the lengthy wait. I, Elizabeth, better known as LP, have valiantly taken the stage. Yeah, you go, LP! This reminds me of a wrestling match. More importantly, did you really need to turn off the lights? I hear varying opinions from the audience, but I will press on without wasting my breath. Now, for what you've all been waiting for, the important announcement from LP! But before that, as my guest and representative of the others, I would like to hear your thoughts on the ball. My thoughts? All in all, it was a lot of fun. I mean, things may be stressful for us right now, but having to not worry about that and just have fun dancing, it's been a nice change of pace. There we have it. He had fun! Woohoo! I was extremely delighted to have been your producer. It was worth doing all I could for you. Uh, I don't know how she keeps her energy up. Well then, if you don't mind, I also wish to say a few words. Even though you were suddenly brought here, with your help, the stage was constantly thriving. I have indeed witnessed the miraculous passion that surges from a strong heart. The ball was a great success. I, LP, humbly thank you once again. <laughs> we had fun too. It's like I feel all fired up and I can take on anything now. Yeah, it was a nice breather. So, who won the competition? If I may put it bluntly, 
It no longer matters who won or lost. Ah. Uh. What? Huh? The excitement of the crowd and your smiling faces. After reflecting, I realized that I was being prideful and I am now searing with shame. You're on fire? How terrible. I think she means burning with shame, probably. <laughs> There's no need to feel ashamed. Everyone acts stubborn from time to time. Thank you. But then again, we definitely didn't lose. I will never concede on that. <laughs> I guess you can't let it go. I've come to a realization after watching you. There's no point in comparing our guests. Those with the will to stand up to their destiny are all equally wonderful. I feel like she's trying to avoid the issue, but at least she seems to be praising us. Also, if I might add one more thing, your dancing gives power to all who witness it. That must be because you put your whole heart into it. True. We did our very best to dance with sincerity. I'm glad that was conveyed. Now then, enough with the long prologue. Let's move on to the main subject. I, LP, humbly wish to make an important announcement. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Are you going to announce an awesome prize? That is correct. Wait, really? In honor of my reputation as a talented producer, I have prepared a token of my gratitude for you. I believe this is known as reward time. Hell yeah! I'm so glad I did my best. You know, I get to feel like this isn't going to be something worth thinking about. Like, as a typical reward. I am honestly worried about this. Right? I have a bad feeling about this. Good, I'm not the only one. I'm convinced that it is much more magnificent than that. LP's big surprise, the fabulous reward is... Dancer Elizabeth's long-awaited debut on the stage! What? Huh? Huh? When you say debut, does that mean... Indeed, I myself will dance with all my heart! Though I am not worthy, I want you to feel the passion surging from my fervent dance! Uh, so that's our reward? That is perfectly fine by me. Let's see her in action. What? While I watched you all, images overflowed and flooded my mind. Your dancing seems to have awakened my inner passion as well. It just wouldn't do if I didn't display it, as it is also one of my duties as a producer. Uh, I mean, I've seen you dance before, Elizabeth, but... Don't go too crazy, okay? Please be at ease. For now, it will just be a normal dance. Okay, good. I think. I am ready, so please call for me whenever you'd like. It's party time! Come on! Let's dance! Woohoo! <laughs> LP is fired up! It appears that the ball will go on for a while longer. Well, that's fine by me. It's fun after all. <laughs> Looks like I missed my chance to retire. The legend of my stardom continues. It never actually began. You want to stick around a little while longer? Of course. We're counting on you, LP, and I'm excited to see you dance. I am resolved to give it everything I have so that I may live up to your expectations. Now. I request you to start this party time, which in turn marks the finale of the ball. Simply bust out, witness LP's celebratory performance, or the party never stops! 
Maybe something like, let's do this, or yeah, would do the trick. Sure, let's go with that. Okay, go for it. Seriously? All right. Everyone, it's party time! Yes! yes. Ah, my excitement is through the roof. Let's see what you've got. to the stage. You got there. Charging complete. <laughs> Those are some deft moves. Let me help you. Here. <laughs> wow, you're good. Keep going. There's no stopping now. King Crazy! Let us toast to this crazy night! That was just ridiculous. I'll never be able to do that. This has been Let's Play Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight. As one final song, I will be doing the credits to the actual credit song that you can actually just play through. Because, yes, you can do that. So, Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight. I gotta say, this has been kind of a weird project. Like I said, this started out as a filler project when I was going away out of the country over a year ago. And, you know, I've had various projects where I've had to simply 
drop them after doing just a couple videos, and even ideas that I've had for projects that just never came to fruition. Like, for example, quite a few years ago, um, I wanted to do, like, a Dark Souls Let's Play. But after an episode or two, that just didn't really get off the ground. There was also Bayonetta that was tried to be a project, but that came under similar issues. Probably because both of those were co-op projects, you know, that weren't part of the normal co-op rotation. And it just didn't really work out to be able to continue on with those. Uh, there's also been projects, like I said, that uh, I've had to abandon before I really started. Like, I kind of wanted to try to do Resident Evil 4 blind, but that never panned out, and then I ended up watching a Let's Play of it anyway, so it wouldn't be blind then. Um, and there's always been games that have been on my back burner. I have plenty of games that I've had for a while that I just haven't gotten around to actually play and do a project of, because something else always kind of comes up and just kind of takes its spot. So to be able to do a project, get halfway through it, abandon it, and then come back to it has been very interesting. It's been a very interesting process to be able to actually put this together. Uh, as for the game itself, um, I do kind of wish that they just made this to be one big game. And like I said, I do wish that there was actual interaction between the Persona 3 and 5 casts, as opposed to just splitting them into two different games. So, a little bit of an issue with that. But overall, it's still a pretty solid rhythm game. Um, I kind of wish that maybe they used more tracks from the game itself. Because there's a lot of... Uh, remixes. And I think Persona 5 has the exact opposite problem, where there's not enough remixes. <laughs> uh, so I just kind of wish that maybe there was a bit more of a balance between original tracks and remix tracks between the two. Uh, but other than that, like, I love Persona 3. Like, it's my favorite game of all time. So, any sort of Persona 3 content that I can put up, I will totally take my chance with that. Um, but, well, this is but a short game. It doesn't take that long to be able to get through it. And for now, we must say farewell to C's yet again. So, until next time, everyone, take care.
stage clear.